If I'm single, I'm a savage. But if I'm in a relationship, I'm religious. Hey everyone, it's your girl Tolly T and welcome to a new season of The My Love Is Podcast. The podcast brought to you by Bumble, the dating app that allows women to be firmly in control. Now this season is all about black love and one thing about me, I love love. And my love feels like home. It's warm, it's accepting, it's comforting and it allows me to be both vulnerable and revealing. I am so excited to talk to a whole bunch of people about all aspects of black love, the good, the really good and the even better. We're going to talk all things. We're going to talk about our aunties and when they're going to stop asking us when we're going to marry. We're going to talk about public relationships. Do you post? Do you not post? I am so excited to chat to all of my guests and I think you're going to love it because it's all about love. So bring your love energy to me. This episode, I have my Love Island winners. And I think they should be everybody's Love Island winners. And um, they met in an unconventional way. Not many of us can say we met our partners on national television with everybody watching and talking about it. I've got my faves, my Love Island winners, Dami and India with me. Hi, Hans. Hi. <laughs> Energy crew. I'm so happy you're that happy to be here. No, and you course. know how Bumble's all about women in control? I think because I've got India with me today. When you say women in control, sorry, mm -hmm. what, what does that mean? Women in control. Yeah. What does it mean? Like we're in control. We make the first move. We oh, see what we that's like. What you guys can call yeah, control. what we call control. Congratulations. Do you know what it is? We don't get we don't wait to get picked. We do the pickings as well. Oh, really? You see it? Mm. Yes, exactly. Mm. So me and India wow. are gonna team up against you today. Okay, so to set the tone and to make everybody get to know each other, and you guys know each other, mm -hmm. but you know, to, so we can all know each other a bit more. Okay. I've got a few questions for you guys, and this questions I've actually stolen from the Bumble question game, which is on the app, right. just to make like talking easier. So right. we're gonna try some of the questions, they're quick fire. So don't think too deeply into it. Give me your first thoughts. And I might answer some questions that I can too. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna go with India first. What's the best part about being in a relationship? Having someone to like confide in and tell you secrets to about feeling like you're being judged. Nice. Dami? Being part of a team and just having like a good support system and just, you know, just having someone there. It's nice. And someone to just communicate with. Mm. And like she said, share your deepest, darkest secrets. It's so adorable. I feel like I'm like interrupting something because you guys are like intensely looking into each other's eyes. And I'm like third wheeling. Okay. No. So it's no it's fine. I'll be a third wheel today. <laughs> it's cool. India, you are swap teams. That wasn't the plan. But go ahead, sis. It was meant to be women in power. But... It's women in power. It's okay. Power. What are you glad your parents don't know about you, Dami? I feel like they pretty much know everything about me. Okay. Yeah. I'm a weird child, I've done a lot of weird stuff, so I don't think there's any secrets <laughs> that they don't know. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm pretty close with my mum. Right, okay. So she knows pretty much everything other than stuff you wouldn't want parents to know. Yeah. Okay, what emoji would you use to describe each other? Dami, you first. Ooh. Was there a Facebook attitude or pout? Maybe like a pout emoji. A pout emoji. Yeah, something okay, like cool. yeah. India, what would you Remember, this is quick fire. I don't even know. That corny biting lip emoji. <laughs> yeah. You're corny. Great. I thought you said I'm corny. Next no. one. Quick, not what I said. quick fire questions. What is the juiciest text you sent each other? I'm going to need you guys to have your phones with you. I don't think this we're is usually, allowed. Usually, <laughs> I don't yeah, think, I don't think we're I don't know we're getting this deep in. How juicy is it? Okay, give me, round it up a little bit. <gasps> juicy. Mm. Well, it's usually we always have the like, what's the... We use invisible ink. Yeah, invisible ink and then we just open it. Oh, it's that juicy? Yeah, can't really look it's naughty it. naughty time. Oh, okay, okay. I love that for you guys. <laughs> I can feel the tension here. So clearly it's, it goes down in the texts. What's your favorite thing about each other? In the weirdest way, he can be very like annoying and just mm. very like whatever. But I do think you're quite understanding. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And I get a bit like overwhelmed quite a lot. Yeah. And he kind of like calms me down and kind of makes me like oh, okay. realize things are really not that serious. Okay, cool. And you? And when she works on her timing. Oh, you like when I'm on time? Yeah. Oh, is she often always late? Always. Okay. So your favorite thing about her is, is when she's she... working on her time. Yeah. So something that she uh. doesn't do well. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. 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 Yeah. sure. Absolutely. Sure. That makes complete sense. Quick fire. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, I watched you guys on Love Island. I thought you were both amazing. You both went in there as like some tough cookies who kind of like, you know, knew where they stood, wasn't going to be heartbroken. You had to play the game. If people didn't watch you guys, what's your love story? How do you think you went from, I'm a heartbreaker, I'm a heartbreaker to, to like, wait, before I jump ahead, are we in love with each other? Is it love? Didn't is it? Have you said it? Yeah. yeah. You just say it every single day. 
Yeah. When did you first say it? In the villa. In the villa. And you meant it then as well? Yeah. yeah. Okay, the but it wasn't as much as now. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you know what I mean? So how did we go from not meeting this person, meeting them on national television to being like, I'm in love with you. He wants to tell the story. You told I don't know story. how to tell the story. I swear. I think like, I don't know, going into the villa, it was mm -hmm. very just like, okay, I'm just going to go in for like a bit of bants and just see what happens. Yeah. And then obviously meeting Dami and getting to know him, I kind of met somebody who I can just connect with mm -hmm. and somebody that I didn't realise that actually understands me. Yeah. So I think when you meet somebody that you just connect with and understand you that much, you kind of just fall into it. Mm -hmm. And you just you just go with the flow. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. Okay. When did you know, like, yeah, I'm in love with her? When did I know I was in love with her? Yeah. I don't know, when there's certain things, when she's annoying, and even though she's annoying me, it's like I still look at her, I'm not angry. It's like, I still want to be around her. And I don't know. I can't say this eye contact, I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm interrupting you guys and something. I'm like, okay, what's happening? Here? I feel like she just we just get each other. Like she gets me. Like, okay. like I'm, I'm able to be my full self, which is very weird sometimes. And she just she accepts yeah, it. Yeah, you definitely full yeah, self. It was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean. Okay, yeah. nice. I'm gonna flip the script a little bit. If you guys didn't meet on Love Island, and it was like you met on an app, you met on Bumble, and like I said, like women are in control on Bumble, and you were gonna like move to Demi, what would the first message have been? I'm not going to lie. I don't know how, like, things work for me because I'll be so honest. I don't have any game. Okay. So, like, I probably would have just been like, hey, oh, and it would have okay. worked okay. and it would have just went from there. Okay, then cool. Would hey would have worked? You think hey would have worked? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it would have. Yeah, I no. I just find, like, I don't know, this is me personally. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think I'm a little bit of, like, a lazy lover. Okay. Like, I don't really, like, do the whole, like, Oh my god, you're so good looking. Oh my god, blah blah blah. Like on the first thing, mm -hmm. but that's really like not what we're talking about. Because so how do you let um, people know that they like you like them? Then how would you? I'll just like know? like one or two pictures. Okay. And if you don't get it, yeah. Like if you don't get the telepathy, then it's not meant to be. I hear you. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like if we like our pictures at the same time, could I get pregnant? Because like that's that's how deep it is. That's how intimate what? it is. Like <laughs> if like I was in my house oh, and I, I liked a picture of a guy and, and he was happened. in the house and he liked a picture with me, I feel like that's a form of intimacy and intercourse. Yeah. No? You know, but you, you guys feel don't the know energy. No, you feel it's like, energies. You don't know each like other. Like on Instagram, you know if you like someone's picture mm. and they like yours. It's and then you like yeah, sorry. It's yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah. we're going to so play the game. Exactly. Mm. Okay. I'm going to ask you guys this question. I want you guys to be completely honest, right? Mm -hmm. um, Love Island is not new. We didn't start yesterday. We all know what the game is. We know what can come out of it. Did you guys honestly go in there with the intention of that? I'm going in here to find love. I went in for the crack. Yeah. I won't lie. I That'd just be... wanted to have fun. <laughs> it was like, it was I wasn't, I don't, you don't objectively think, oh yeah, I'm going to find love. I'm going to, mm -hmm. whatever comes from it. Because yeah. you don't know what could happen. Don't. You could mm. be gone home in a week. You yeah. might go in, everyone that's there is probably not your type, you're not mm -hmm. their type, so you mm -hmm. don't actually go in just thinking of that. But when I went in, it's just have fun. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if there was pretty girls, I was going to talk to pretty girls, because that's what I did before Love Island, so... And then, yeah, found the prettiest girl, and I said, why is this so soppy here? <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> I love this for you. And what yeah. was your intention as well? It was kind of the same thing. Like, I didn't go in there with the expectation of finding love because obviously like you said we all know what love island is yeah. mm -hmm. and we all know what the cast usually yeah. like so i went there thinking shite mm -hmm. what if nobody on there is my type mm -hmm. but i didn't want that to be a reason why i didn't take the opportunity yeah so i went in there with like high hopes but yeah. i wasn't like banking on it like i'm gonna come out with a husband mm -hmm. i was like okay let me at least try okay but also it is a dating show mm -hmm. and as much as you are there to like find love you're there to have a good time as well yeah mm -hmm. so i wanted to like you know do a bit of both but... okay nice because I would solely go in there for the money yeah, and the opportunities. But the money is not even that much. I yeah, no, the thing is, like, I, I'm aware that you were. You have, you have opportunities that. afterwards. Yeah, yeah, you, know, that, yeah. you definitely you know that. Like, even me going in, you go in there, you think, well, things could change, but you just, you don't know. Because yeah, you don't know when true. you're going home. Yeah, that's very like, true. You just don't know. So now that you guys found each other on it, is there a pressure to, like, stay together? Because I think oh. one of the biggest, like, narrators of Love Island is Black Twitter, right? Yeah. And, like, if there's one thing Black Twitter <laughs> love, yeah. it's two gorgeous Black people together. Mm. We, feel, we feel happy, we feel fulfilled. It's like all of our dreams have come true. Mm. And that happened with you guys, and now everyone's like, there's an expectation that you guys have to last forever and be good together and look good together. Do you feel pressurised by that? 
No. You just don't care? No. no. So if to that, you decide that this is not it for me anymore, it's just like, it's not it for me it's anymore. It's just not it anymore. Okay. Yeah. And there is no need to stay together for the branding of it as well? Mm. No. I mean, like, I get that obviously, like, people think me and Diamond together look great, mm -hmm. but it's like, and I think Dami as well, like, if you're in a position that you're just really not happy and whatever, yeah. I would never want to stay in something for the sake of it looking good. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I just absolutely. don't think that's healthy at all. Mm -hmm. But, um, no, I, like, it's nice to see that people, like, support us and they want to stay together, but under no circumstance do we ever feel like, oh, God, we have to do this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So in the same way that people want you to stay together, I'm sure both of you equally, people are moving to you separately outside of this. Because sometimes people do it out and bad on the timeline and they will say mm. something about your pictures or, like, first trap your pictures or whatever. Mm. How does that go down between you two? Uh, do you show each other it? It's kind of there, out in the open. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, I don't really check my DMs that much. Okay. Like, I haven't really seen anything, like, crazy. Oh, right, okay. I, mm -mm. Mm. Yeah. What's the craziest thing you have seen? Like, just, like, some random person from some random show. Right. Just saying, like, random things. Like, what, what just, are the random things? I don't know, like, just... Like, leave Dami and be with me? Is that kind of oh, stupid wow. stuff. How did that go down with you, Dami? Dammy, this is my first time hearing about it. Like, so. You didn't actually know. You know, you just see something. How do you feel it? I mean, it's normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's kind and do you get the same? Do you random girls from random shows yeah. going to leave India be with them? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, people do that as well for me. Yeah. Like, girls do do that. Who? Uh, what do you mean who? I don't know who they are. I don't, who from I don't a really random going, show? I don't really What's go into detail. What's the random show? What channel? No, it's not. It's not. I don't. I don't know what show you're talking about. It's all different. Like, but most time it's probably in person. Okay. Or, yeah, people are very can be cheeky yeah. in person. In person. Yeah. Okay, so how do you handle it in person? Because with DMs and like messages and tweets, you can ignore that, right? Mm. But what's in person? Because you still want to be deemed as polite. You just have to give each other the look. Right, okay. Like, so what if you're not in the same place? What if you're at a venue and someone's like... Because I don't think people are shy about it. To no. be like, yeah, I want to chat yeah, to this person. Yeah, but there's boundaries, though. You just have to yeah. own boundaries and just be like, sorry. Like. And to be honest, it's actually yet to happen. No one's actually in person come up to me like, oh, mm. like I'm trying to chat to you like, in yeah. that way. Like, no one has actually. Okay. But I think when you have conversations with people, you kind of just know when to like make it stop. Yeah. Okay. Because sometimes people want to talk to you, but you can tell when they're trying to like... Make the conversation mm -hmm. go on for a Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We don't actually have anything to talk about. Mm -hmm. Like, I need to go. Has there been any strange requests or anything? Or what requests? do you mean? Like, what? like, just like fans wanting you guys just to be weird together. So or like sex tapes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they asked for our sex tapes a lot. They said oh, they'd yeah. pay. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, that is quite crazy. That is actually insane. Yeah. I used to have a guy who used to do a PayPal me, not, yeah, PayPal me like money at the weekends to buy takeaways. That's nice. Yeah, right? And I did nothing for him. Love that. I'm just like, oh, you deserve a takeaway. That's really? nice. It's so, it was so adorable. He stops now, I miss him. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, it has, it's been a while. So I would like a takeaway, please come back. Okay, so one of the reasons why I went to chat to you guys is that like, when we talk about love and dating, you guys are from two different cultures. You're Nigerian and you're Jamaican, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm Nigerian also. And do you find it conflicts your different cultures in any way in your relationship? Uh, not really. Like, I feel like our cultures are very similar, but like different. Yeah. Mm. Hers is like, just more relaxed. Just, yeah, but like just relaxed in like different ways. So like right, when okay. it comes to like greeting mm -mm. and stuff like that. How did that go down? Did it went down fine, okay. yeah. Did you teach India? Okay, so I had you are, no clue. Okay, just let everyone know, if you're Nigerian, especially Yoruba, there are set ways to greet. Yeah. Um, for girls, it's kind of like a, like a, oh, yeah, yeah. a, a little I, I taught her the wrong way, I got in trouble. Yeah, you taught me the guy way. You I just, uh, yeah, but it's not that deep, at least it's still frustrating. It is that like, deep, I hear it, but it's still frustrating. Okay. You know, honestly, thinking about it, your mum must be thinking, what is she doing? <laughs> like, she's not even doing it. Wait, yeah, but she knows, she knows, she knows I didn't go away, I just sort of like, yeah, so it kind of like crazy. It kind of still seemed like I was doing it the right way. Like she's doing it the right way. Yeah, like okay, and did you right call mummy, mummy, auntie, what auntie? Was like? okay, and then cool. I have like my friend, like my best friend's Ghanaian, so like, okay. I'm very familiar with like calling elders like auntie, like it's fine. Okay, so you're mm. using like, that, yeah. like that, yeah. Um, but yeah, just agreeing. Like when Dami told me about, it, I was like, what? Mm. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, and I felt so awkward. But then obviously I know. That's his culture, so it's not like a big deal. Yeah, Jamie. and I think for Nigerian culture, a big part of it is respect. Right? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. all about respect. Like they're so so big on that. Mm -hmm. So did you feel like you had to teach India this thing as a way to get mum's approval? Yeah, because all formality, like yeah, you especially just your have grandma. To, yeah, with my grandma as well. Yeah, but it's just like obviously the more she does it, like when you've already done it, especially from like first impressions and stuff, you have to do it for a while, and then mm. it's like those ones it becomes it just becomes a hug. Yeah, but it's like obviously first greetings, you kind of have to have that to kind of show that, you know, you're, you're getting into our culture as well. Mm -mm. And um, you just mentioned mm -hmm. grandma. So when you first met grandma, Twitter saw it. Yeah. 
<laughs> and Twitter had comments because yeah. of what you were wearing. My titty top. Okay, so do you want to tell us how that meeting went down and why the choice of outfit? I mean, the meeting went great. Okay. Like, it went absolutely fine. And the choice of outfit, I mean, just saw the top lights. I was like, Damn, should I wear this shirt? I'm not sure. I'm okay. going to see you now. And he was like, yeah, chuck it on. It's a nice T-shirt. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was fine. And Skyler quite relaxed. She just doesn't care about yeah, this. I don't think she even. I don't, I don't think, think she, she noticed it was boots. She doesn't even. I don't think she, she didn't noticed the it was top. Because yeah. <laughs> nah. it was kind of like a graphic kind of tease. Yeah. The, the commentary was for no reason. Was for no like, reason. Was just people. Yeah. Yeah. And I think like, I don't know. It wasn't a shock that I would wear a top like that anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. Cool. And when you met India's family and parents, how was that for you? Yeah. Uh, pretty. Yeah. Pretty easy. Apart from obviously on the show, but in in after the show, okay. it's, it was very. Yeah. Right like, in, you're like, still yet to meet some of my family. I have a yeah. huge family. Okay, yeah. So he's still yet to meet, like, some of my aunties and stuff. But with my mum and sister, you guys get along pretty well. Mm -hmm. So how did you regain them to like you? Because on the show, you, you know, mess up. Mm. How did you make mum and sister come on your side? I don't know. I just be myself. Like, I think I'm just a likable person. I think when you also they see... Me, you, you actually know me. And then they actually understand the elements of the show that you, you guys don't actually see. And then, obviously, we're both relaying our stories and all this stuff, and then it's like, they get it. Okay. They get it, like... Yeah, and I think they also see, like, how Dami treats me in real life. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's easy to, like, see stuff on the show and be like... And then, obviously, we're not living together, but, like, we each other all the time. Yeah. He's very respectful towards me, so it's like, I'm happy, so they're happy. I was going to ask the question and be, like, your black richness, but you're Irish. Mm. How does that affect your culture in any way, shape, or form? Like, as in, I love your accent. Which oh, one? me too. Which yeah, like, like he doesn't do Which it accent? enough. Your Irish Your accent. Irish accent? Yeah. Wait, talk so like this. Do you think he hasn't got an Irish accent now? I do. No, no now when I'm he talking, does. Like when, when I'm talking like on. this, I don't really have one. But like, if I speak like, are you all right there, fella? Do you want to go? This do you really so want to go? Nice. Uh, <laughs> just I'm sorry, that's not way too much now. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't really think it sounds that nice. No, but it's I mean, a great accent. If I'm talking to Irish people, then yeah, it just it just it just comes out. And I think there's a flair of Nigerian accent in there as yeah, well. Yeah. Do you think that comes up when you're talking to people that are uh, black. Nigerian as well? Black, we'll just yeah. have to be black. That's what they're like. <laughs> <Black. laughs> cool. Did Nigeria will just come out? Yeah, we we'll just. And are you like big and bad about being Nigerian? Is it something you wear openly and with shirts? I mean, your name, you, there's no denying it. Yeah, there's no denying it. I always say I'm Nigerian, I'm mm. Yoruba as well. Don't want everyone scared of. You speak Yoruba. They must say Yoruba small. I'm not saying Yoruba. I'm not Yoruba. I'm not saying Yoruba. We're on the same team. On the same team. All right, let's teach. Okay, let's teach India something. So the next time, I'm not, I can't I'm even not teach you. I can't even teach you patois because I can't even. She speak can't even do patois. You're I not allowed. Okay. okay, so next time you see grandma, if it's the morning. No, I'm not doing that. Just say young a car Nope. No. 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 I'm gonna say. Say what you say? A car Roma. A car Roma. What? Just like good morning. Good morning. Say again. A car Roma. A car Roma. Yeah. I love the hair swing that you did as you did it as well. But I think she'd appreciate that. I think she'd appreciate that. No, that's really so embarrassing. Really <laughs> she's been looking at me like, girl. I think you tried. Um, but speaking you about your... Me <laughs> I mean, yeah, we'll work on the accent. We'll try it. It'll be funny, me. like. That's crazy. It will be adorable. Yeah, I actually would like. I think you're the sexiest language in the world, right? Yeah, I think it is as well. It's, it's so. Everything's a song, you know? So. Mm. so I think I think you should try it. But speaking about Yoruba and um, Yoruba men. Yeah. Mm. Your PR is in the mud. PR, yeah. Yoruba demon. So, what did you know about Yoruba demons before meeting Demi? And on the island, did he show you the how bad it can get? You know what? I didn't see his worst side because okay. I wasn't there. That, do you guys? In... That wasn't my worst side. Yeah, but, but in worst. the villa, you didn't. Yeah, but actually that wasn't anything bad. Like, other than that, though, that yeah. wasn't like you know. But I've been very familiar with the whole Yoruba demon situation. Okay, so like, how did you weird. see Yoruba men prior to meeting Demi? Just like F boys, really. Okay. Yeah, players, yeah. F boys. They'll still like treat you nicely in terms of Yeah, I think, yeah, I think they actually, yeah. 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 Nice to do like. Loads of gifts, loads of dinners, good yeah. stuff. But then on the flip side, you're going to probably get cheated. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I know you don't want to say because you don't want the backlash, but I'm a Yoruba woman and I can be like, the goodness of being looked after, taken out. Yeah, great. But like infidelity feels like it. I I don't know why you guys are looking at me. Because you're I, 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 <laughs> I've never che I've never cheated. Infidelity is for me is only when you're in a relationship or mm. married. If you're single, you can you know, do I can do you can do whatever yeah. you want. Okay. So, so what your other man stereotypes do you think you fit in? Just the fact I'm Yoruba. That's literally but it. But aside from that, you're an angel. I'm not an angel. I'm just dummy. Like if I'm single, mm -hmm. the dummy you see is just dummy. Like if I'm single. Wait, okay, so it's basically like if I'm a, if I'm single, mm -hmm. I'm a savage. 
But if I'm in a relationship, I'm religious. How savage are we talking? I thought that was dumb. India was wants a better explanation of that. Was that was awful. How was that awful? It was, it, the and first bit was fine, but it was the in a relationship yeah. religion. Yeah, because then there's no infidelity, like it's all calm. I know like, I'm just in the relationship. You thought you did something, right? I thought I did something. When you said it, you was like, yeah, I thought I did something. It, it you didn't. <laughs> now, when I'm single, I'm not even savage. I'm just you're just yourself. Just myself, like yeah. I know I'm. But I'm very transparent with everyone. Like, yeah. They all know I'm doing this. I'm doing that. So no I one can come and give me any backlash. Are you an F boy who thinks they're good because they tell you what they're doing? No, I'm not an F. I'm not an F boy. Mm. I'm not an F boy. Actually, let me not speak for you. How can you speak for me? You didn't know me before. I'm not an F boy. Okay, so before there's no one in the woodworks that come out to be like this guy was a Yoruba demon. Nah, they would say. I mean, there's a few girls that love me, but I wasn't an F boy. What did you do with their love, Debbie? I went on a show. Oh <laughs> <laughs> what was your situation before going on the island and your experience of love and relationships and things like that? I mean, I'd never really had a bad time. Okay. I felt like I was very in control in all the stuff I did. Okay. And the reason why I wasn't like in a relationship was because I just didn't want to be in a relationship mm -hmm. with those people. Yeah. Like I had fun dating them, but no offense, I just didn't really think they were boyfriend material. So had you ever been in a relationship prior to love? Yeah, I'd been in right. one. Okay. So mm -hmm. and when I was like 17 to 19, so okay. I was quite young. Yeah. And then after 19, just dating. Okay, then cool. Yeah. So what makes you both feel like now that you're both ready to be in a relationship and ready to... At the moment, things may change, life happens, whatever. Is this it? Are you happy where you're at? Yeah. I feel like I'm very content. And, and I just is... feel like we're just bouncing off each other and mm. I'm enjoying that. Okay, then cool. Yeah. What makes this feel good? I mean, no shade to girls I was with before. We don't have I, to talk about that. No, but I want to just say, like, obviously, like, I wasn't ready for a relationship before and all that, but I feel like now, now that I've met India, it's like, I don't know, the way she is and the way you kind of like get each other and bounce off each other, just, I don't know. I actually generally just don't know how to put it into words, like, it just feels right, like, like it feels I good. I think when you know, you kind of know. Yeah. I mean, that's the cliche, right? People it's look so like cliche, you know, but like, you actually do. Just I mean, like, it's a gut feeling. Like, yeah. you know, the way you say, is this it? It's like you're not thinking it's not it, but you're mm. just still enjoying mm. whatever it is and we keep growing with it, but it's and not it's like. There's no reason for it not, not to be, to it, be so it. But it's like. Mm. Cool. How are you guys handling being who you are, being visible, being known, and also still like regaining who you were prior to this show and prior to all of this? Because this kind of feels like everything was normal in your life. You went on this show and then you're out and then you're Damien Injo, you're a brand. How does that become, how do you mm. handle that? I think maybe taking time out for yourself mm -hmm. also, because things do get overwhelming, especially yeah. when you've got a lot to do. Like, even with me, sometimes I have to like center myself because I'm just like mm -hmm. all over the place. But like, I don't know, like I say to people, they say to me, oh, like, how do you feel? Yeah. And like, I'll be looking at them like, well, what do you mean? Because I feel the same. Right, and I'm okay. still waiting for that like ball to drop and for like things to feel like, India, you are a quote unquote celeb. Yeah. But like, I still feel like myself. It's such a weird question because people are actually like, when did you feel like you made it? Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm like, like, I don't feel like mm, that. Like, yeah, like, you're, yeah. Still, you're still going like Yeah, 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 not yet, yeah. So exactly. it's, kind of, it's kind of hard to like, it's kind of hard because mm. you're just going with the flow and just doing what you have to do. Yeah. You know? But yeah, don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah, that does make <laughs> sense. How are you handling it? I just feel like before Love Island, I was still this person that I am yeah. here. So I'm just, okay. I'm just being this person still. So it's easier for me to just navigate through because I'm not trying to be anyone else or anything. So whatever is coming to me or whatever I'm doing, it's the same dummy that was before Lovan is doing it. So I, I don't know. I don't know how I to explain like it. The most for me like that has changed is my workload. Okay. Like myself, like I feel the same, mm -hmm. but now I'm just getting to grips of like, having this much yeah. more like hectic and busy like lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just like doing it the India way, like how I would yeah. before. It's just, yeah, it's just the lifestyle that's like changed. Like yeah. there's just more. It's more demanding. It's more, yeah, yeah, more yeah. stuff, yeah. So how do you manage a relationship in that? Especially like a young relationship, right? I feel like work gets in the way of that, no? Um, no. Not really, some, only like if we're away for a yeah. couple of days, like on jobs. But I think, cause we do quite like similar stuff. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of our jobs are very interactive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, even if I do a job, like I'll come home, tell Dammy about it. And it's like, he can understand it. Mm -hmm. And like when he's busy, I'll understand because we're kind of doing similar things. Yeah. So even with us like being young, I don't think that even makes a difference. I just think it works for us because we both have busy lifestyles. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we can both understand each other. But we still always find time though. So yeah. it doesn't even feel like, like we're away, yeah. unless we're actually away. It doesn't feel like. Yeah, away. I've not ever once feel like, oh, I'm not like close enough to Dami or like we don't have enough time together because of work. Mm. Okay, so yeah. do you do like set date nights and things like that? 
No, nah, everything just falls in. Yeah, just, like you... even with like date nights, like we all just go out to eat. Yeah. Right, okay. But then like for some people, like, oh, you're going on a date. And it's like, no, we're just going to get food. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, oh, so it's date night. Yeah. Like, no, we're just going to get food. Okay, yeah. cool. But we eat so often. So like yeah, date yeah. night's not even a thing <laughs> yeah. these days because we're just always eating. But... And romance wise, are you romantic? Yeah, can be. No, I should ask Indy that question. Is Dami romantic? Yeah, you actually are. You can be. Yeah, I know I can yeah, be. Yeah. Can What's be. the most romantic thing Dami's done to you? Mm, probably when he went to Paris and Ooh, brought me what back a load of stuff. That was cute, because I didn't expect it. What did he get you? He got me a Fendi bag and some Dior glasses. I literally said to him, oh, like, bring me back something from Paris. I was expecting like a little okay. iPhone tower keychain, yeah. not like gifts. But that was really cute. And yeah. it was thoughtful. That's adorable. Most romantic thing India's done for you? <laughs> I'm just a nice person. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right, yeah. tell them I'm not romantic. No, she is. She, I mean, she did some tofu the other day. I didn't. It's romance and tofu. Yeah. I mean, she cooks. She actually cooks a bit. I cook a lot. Yeah, she actually cooks a lot. Like, it's okay. cute. She, she actually asked me what do I want to eat and stuff. Whatever. Like, she knows I'm coming from somewhere, which is really cute. But then there's one time, obviously, I said I want these shoes or something. Like, I told her about these shoes, but. I didn't tell her like get it for me. Mm -hmm. It's just a joke. And then literally she kept she did this thing where she was like, oh, what's like what's your size? What's your size again? Like it's like a side snob. And I heard it and I was like, oh, 10. And then somehow she started talking about the shoe, yada yada. But then she was buying the shoe for me. And I didn't know she was buying it. And then I turned around and she bought the shoe. I really wanted this shoe. So <laughs> for me, I feel like for me, that was probably the most that was cute. Like it was just, I wasn't expecting it. That's cute. So it's both your love languages, gifts. Sounds, mm. like <laughs> sounds, sounds like yeah. it. Sounds like it. I mean, I'd say my love language is all of them, though. Yeah, okay, like, I hear that. I want all of it. Yeah. You know? What is it? Physical it. touch. Physical gift. touch, word of information, quality time, quality time gift gifts. giving. I feel like physical, physical touch. Physical, physical touch. touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How do you rank them? If there's all of them, how do you rank them? Physical touch. Okay. Access service. Yeah. Oh, gifts. Yes. Quality time and then words of affirmation last. Okay. You? Um, acts of service. I'm an acts of service person yeah. as well. Yeah, acts of service. What was it? Probably, I don't even know. I think it's just acts of service, or really. just like things being. That yeah. feels very Nigerian Yoruba manish, you know? I don't know, I just. Ooh, just like acts of service things is very necessary. Yeah. I, yeah, it's, it's my favorite yeah. one. Yeah. I like people to like, be useful. Words of affirmation, I think, is very unnecessary. Do you know what? I always say that. Yeah. But then I think it kind of depends on the kind of personality type you have. Yeah. Right? yeah. I think if you're already quite a secure and confident person, mm. and like, it's fine. And also, I've got a thing with words. I think words are really fleeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think today you can think I'm the most attractive girl in the world and the best person ever, and tomorrow mm -hmm. I'm not to you anymore. Mm -hmm. So I think it's quite like a fleeting emotion yeah. and it can kind of go and come as it pleases. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't feel as like staple for yeah. me. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. Because, you know, like actions speak louder than words. Right? That part, yeah. exactly. So cute, cute. Okay, I'm going to play another game with you guys. Are uh, you ready? Yes! There is a winning prize in this as well. Really? Is what there? Is it? Yeah, see, see how you both like what stuff. What's the winning, what's <laughs> you the see how prize? I tapped into your accent, your gift giving ideas. You find out when you win. Okay, who is the messiest? Okay, yeah. I'll put my hands up to me. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even try to fight. I'll put my hands up. I won't fight this one. <laughs> Who's the funniest? Dami. Dami's quite funny. Do you think you're funny? I am funny. Like, you're right. Nah, you just I'm funny. you just say like random stuff. Nah, but I actually know how to be funny. Oh, like, tell us a joke. Funny. It's not it's, it's not like a joke. Not a joke. <laughs> 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 you tell jokes. I'm not funny. No. I want to hear a joke though. I'm not. I don't know. Uh, but those are so cliche. Like, literally, it's why did the chicken cross the road? Why? To get to the other side. That's the only joke I know, and it's not funny. What did DJ call his son? Uh, so what? Dexter. Yeah, Dexter. Elk. <laughs> what? No, okay, cool. Dexter, actually wasn't bad, Dexter was good, innit? Was good. Well, it wouldn't have been funny. It wouldn't have been as funny as Elk. <laughs> no? No. No. Nobody. No. Is this thing working, guys? Nobody. Okay. You're at a hall party. The music is popping off, mm. right? It's popping Set off. The scenery. And it's popping off heavy. Who is most likely to win in a dance off? I feel like I'll win because I'll give him my all. I'll give him my all. <laughs> she would just do the same move on repeat. Yeah, I, all me, I'm just a little one, two, whine and a little two step. Dance or Dance? I'm more, I whine, I don't twerk. Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think whining is more British. Yeah, more, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. More, it's more like Caribbean as well. Yeah, Twerking's yeah, more like true. American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. sophisticated, it's sexy. It's not over. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't twerk in the club. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. What's your go-to dance move? I don't know, I just freestyle it, man. 
Do we yeah, you do a lot of. Yeah, you, you see? Want absolutely, that do kid. That stuff. Like, you could dance with Michael Jackson mm-hmm. before party. Oh, yeah, I actually kind of could even moonwalk exactly as well, man. I, I know exactly the kid. And you yeah. used to even do a little bit of break dance. Yeah, man, I, I, used to, I even skateboarded at one point, man. I did everything. In the club? Was, no, not in the club. I'm just saying. Oh, you, like you, in general. You, you like, the kind like, of guy. Yeah, yeah, even rollerblading, man. Everything. Oh, you've come to it all? Yeah. I love that for you. Okay, who's most likely to oversleep? Me. Indu. Yeah, you're anemic. You know what, I think I am. Yeah, same My mum is. Yeah, you probably are. But, yeah. It's a tough I'm one. a very sleepy girl. Also, like, all the baddies are. Yeah, so I hear it. I'm it's exhausting being so gorgeous. It like, is, it's man. It is. Okay, who's most likely to spend their food, send their food back at a restaurant, to send their food back? Send their food back? Yeah. In a restaurant, if they didn't like it? Yeah. Mm, or I something would. I feel like I'm always choosing the wrong stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I always just go, I know I want to eat. So. And just stick yeah. to it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Who gets the best presents? India. Mm-hmm. You get the most, like... What, like, from you? Yeah, from each other, is it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so be. far, that means winning. Okay, then. But wait. Wait, don't... no, she says wait. How long? Yeah, how do you think this stuff sits? Women are in control. It's not even that bad. When, are, when is each other's time. birthdays? Hers is coming, and then it's Christmas as well. It's when like was December yours? 11. Mine is March 27th, it's gone. Okay, cool, and you went together then? But I just get no. her gifts. I just get her wait. gifts on regular, just if I go out. No. Okay, cool. We went Okay, cool. We need to step it up then. Christmas. Christmas. Women, I mean, Christmas. Take, take women. control. Yeah. Take control. Yeah, Christmas. You do. She's gonna go big. Women. Christmas. Women are taking. control. That's what this is all about. Now. Exactly. Why? Yeah. Why can't I just be? Why can't living I just my be life? <laughs> so with no control. In control, be, but like control. I didn't like. I just want to do my own thing, Jan. Mm. Basically, she's not gonna go big on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna get what you're given. So expect Links that. Africa. Yeah. Links Africa. Yeah. Old school times. Okay. <laughs> and the last one, and I want you guys to think well about this. It's gonna be a, your celebrity crush is in town. Who was your celebrity crush? In town, like in this London. Like it's in in this London. Who was your celebrity town. crush? <laughs> it could be anywhere. No, <laughs> who would it be? Uh, Why are you laughing? I don't know. Who would the crush be? I don't know. You're you said your slept crush was Megan Good. Yeah, but she said in London. No, oh, in London. She can travel. There's oh, in London. They're in town. They've come <laughs> over. So she's tra- Megan Good. And she's newly single. Yeah, I'll just think Megan, Megan Good. I already know who you're thinking about. <laughs> Megan Good is in, in town. Who do you think you're thinking Never about? Never mind. Anyways, no, Megan Good's in town. Megan Good is in town, yeah? Who was your celebrity crush? <sighs> I don't know. It was someone, but like, I just want a new one now. Okay, old India celebrity crush. To clarify. Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. Right, he's Who in town. He? Who is he? Central C. Who? Central C. Central C, okay. Megan Good and Central C. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Sure. <laughs> sure, they're both in town, right? Right. And who out of the both of you is most likely to ask for a pass? A pass? As in like to take the crush on a date. To ask for a pass to go on a date with that person. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. Like oh. a whole pass. Like a whole pass, honey. Like, like a whole pass. Oh, that's so funny. Dummy. Probably would be. And would you grant it? No. Ah, uh, sorry. Absolutely not. <laughs> that's never going to happen. <laughs> that's so funny, funny that you asked that question. Do you know that? Why? Did you have a whole pass conversation? That is yeah, so we did. funny. You, you, have, you have to talk about it. Then, okay, when did a whole pass conversation happen? <laughs> like, like two four, four days? No, I don't think Four like, days ago? Like a week ago or something. It's like two weeks ago. Was it two weeks? Yeah. What's the gist of it? Are we allowing whole parts? Nah, I wasn't. Like, no. I was just like, you know when you're just throwing something out there just for practice? We went like, along for, like, with it. If you're like a celebrity or something came, yeah. like, we really, like have a whole pass for each other where we mm. could just do it and there would be no trouble. Yeah. Like, would you grant one? And at first she was like, mm, was like, is that what you want? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like I'm just asking, if, would you do that? Do, 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 do. She was like, she was thinking about it. And then at one point she even started saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just, you know, pretend to start getting excited about it. Just to, you know, and it's oh, everything changed. That's the thing, you showed your cards too early. No, but I was just joking though, I was just mm-hmm. joking. Would you allow it to do a whole pass? If I was allowed a whole pass? Why? If it was a celebrity Yeah, thing. if he was allowed a whole yeah. pass, then of course I have to be allowed a whole pass. Okay. You can't have one and I can't. Yeah, yeah, I feel like whole passes should be allowed when you're on holiday. Holiday. Like, and, it, mm. like, and it can't mm. just be you're young, you're in Europe. Yeah, you're in Miami. So what are you saying? Are we saying you should grant whole passes? Whole passes where? If he was in Miami. Guess, for why? Last trip. And Megan Good was there, I allowed me. I know, and I, I send you a snap and it goes, listen, no. Megan is trying it. No. 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 Really? For what? But For if, story, if you send me, if you For story, innit? But I see me, I'm, su- I'm such a hypocrite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's because what she always says I, that. I know I'm a hypocrite because I could imagine being somewhere with like someone be like, oh, babe, by the way, hall pass. And then maybe, but if you can't do it, I can't do it, so. Mm. Okay, so we're both saying, you're yeah, both saying no to hall passes. Yeah. Fun holiday, it's hot, Megan Good's out there. Sun's shining. I mean, I feel like you should think about it, like, 
It's a celebrity. Why not? Celebrity. No, I'm a celebrity. But you just said you're a hypocrite. I am. And I would be pissed if you said I couldn't have a hot pass, and then one day you just came around to me like, oh, damn, you know that hot pass? I want to use it. Like, would you? I would, I would switch everything over. I say you can use it. For me, I'm going to the streets. I love how you even your accent changed. That's, like, that's how you know you use it. The girl got came out of you, big and strong. No, I just think, I think hall passes, they're just rooms for disaster. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just, if you want a hall pass, just be single. Yeah, true. Yeah. You're clearly not finished. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right. You're clearly you're not finished. finished. Just having fun here and there. Just there. Fun there, just one time. We're all just joking here, right? Joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're in control, right? No, you guys are too no. much. No. <laughs> okay, um, my love is right, guys. <clears throat> before I let you guys go, I'm gonna ask a question for you both, and it's a question that I want you guys to end. I'm gonna start with Danny. Mm -hmm. My love is dot dot dot. What's your? Oh, love? this is hard. Unhinged and special. What? <laughs> <laughs> Unhinged is such a funny word to unhinged. use for love. But sure, okay. your love is unhinged and special. Yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, India? My love is warm and one of a kind. Nice. Um, you guys are doing the eye contact thing again, so I'm going to end this <laughs> because... I wasn't even looking I've, at I've, it. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's great. I've had the experience of what it feels like to be a third will. Mm -hmm. A third will in a very sensual relationship sensual. and all of that stuff. So it's, it's been fun. Mainly embarrassing for me because clearly I shouldn't have been here the whole time. Um, this is a great conversation. Thank you guys so much for coming. Guys, let us know your thoughts about our conversation and what you think about Indian and Dami's love. Please use the hashtag MyLoveIs and I'll be back next week. Bye. Ciao.